So he sends him your way because he knows if Slick Willie could just say I love you right. or I like you or you look good then he's going to imprison your mind. Yeah. Satan knows that. Yeah. <laughs> he knows that if you could just get in a place where everybody else seen to have the best of clothes, he'll let you come around and feel inferior to everybody. And he'll tell you, you're not as good as they are. He'll tell you, you're not like them. He'll tell you, they're all one skin color and you not. He'll tell you they're all tall, handsome, but you're not. He's out to annihilate you. And after all the things that Joseph went through, but he was a man that God wanted to use. He was a man, the Bible said, was a prosperous man. But at this time, you see, we use this, but we talk about him as a man. But you got to realize this boy was only 17 years old. He was going through all of these things at an early age. And then from the time he was 17 till he was 30 years old, all of this, all of his childhood, he missed out on because he was being used of God. I just want to stop and tell you, it's time for us to grow up. You see now, you may not understand. And one of the worst things about adolescence is we don't understand. When you're an adolescent, you think you can do a lot of stuff that you don't understand that you can't do yet. But if you could just hold on a while, God knows where you are. If you could just hold on a while, God will lift you up out of the state and show you his real purpose for your life. You may not see it yet, but God has a plan for you. God has a way out for you. God wants you to be a blessing to somebody else. You don't know it yet, but your household is about to be saved because of you. You don't know it yet, but your boss man is about to come in because of you. Right out the storm, right out the troubles, right out the hardships, right out the pain. But after a while, God will deliver. After a while, God will help you. Yeah, but I just want to tell you, give me just a few more minutes just to tell you, but you can't whip out. This is not the whip it out time. This is not the time to complain, murmur, and call it quits. This is not the time to throw in the towel. This is not the time to look back or give up. This is the time to hang on in there because God, he's getting ready to do something, but you gotta hang on. That's why the word says, be not weary in well doing for in due season your due season is about to come in your due season is here now your due season is upon us you've got to wait God's getting ready to do something don't give up don't quit in don't quit now don't give up hallelujah I don't care how many other folk seem to be going good and you seem to be down, but hang on in there. I don't care, Brother Harris, who else ministry seem to be soaring. Just 